Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a new Facebook Portal Plus. Now, I know a lot of us still use Facebook even though they had some problems in the past with privacies, but that's what this video is not about. It's about showing you technology that just came out that some of you guys may enjoy. So if you wanna know more about this product, sit back, relax, and let's get started. <laughs> After taking out of the box, I'm very impressed with the build quality. It's very solid and it has this cool tablet piece that turns so you can make it landscape. It also came with your power cable as well as a cover for the camera for those who are watching out for the privacy. Now this screen is huge. In fact, here's a standard iPad and look how big that is in comparison. Now let's plug it in and see what it looks like when you turn it on. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up the portal it's very easy, but it's gonna take up to five minutes to do the basic setup. What you're gonna need is a good Wi-Fi connection that's consistent, as well as a Facebook account. You're also gonna need an Amazon account so you can set up the Alexa unit because it does use voice commands with Alexa. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you wanna do is go ahead and log into your Wi-Fi account. Now, if you just got your unit, it will ask you to go ahead and do an update, but once that's all set, you wanna make sure there's a checkbox on your Wi-Fi, then press next. Now go ahead and log into your Facebook account. There is some terms and conditions, so if you worry about your privacy, you can click on these links and read through all the details. Now there's two ways you can log in. One, you can go to this website with a computer or a mobile device, or you can go ahead and use your password right on the touch screen. When entering your password, you can have it to automatically log into everything automatically, but if you don't, just leave it unchecked. Now you can name your portal, so I'm just gonna call it Living Room. Once you get the checkbox, go ahead and press Next. The camera built into this unit will follow you using different focal points, but we'll show you that later. Let's go ahead and skip it for now. After you add some people, you can also do a thing called Super Frame. And what this will do is you can select a Facebook account that you want to share, and it'll show those pictures on this display when not in use. Let's skip that for now. Next, you can log into Spotify or Pandora, but since I have Spotify already set up on Alexa, I won't need to add that feature now. This is a feature that you can turn off or on, and the way it works is whenever you're at home or it sees the Wi-Fi or the location on your phone at your house, then it's gonna use the display on the portal to do video calling. Now, when you leave the house, it's gonna know that your phone left the house, and then it's gonna switch over to that device so the portal doesn't make video calls. I don't really like this feature at this point, so I'm gonna just bypass it for now. Next, if you'd like to start using it for calling, you can set up the Hey Portal settings. What it does is it actually looks at your Facebook account and allows incoming calls to hang up and also start calls just by saying Hey Portal. I'm gonna skip this for now. Now you wanna go ahead and sign into your Alexa account. Now since the confirmation code came up, all you need to do is go to this website, log into your Amazon account, and then it'll be prompted to enter that code. And this is what it looks like. Now this feature is not case sensitive, so just punch in a number and then hit continue. And now the Alexa service is ready to use. Go ahead and press done. Now that it's all set, you can now explore some of the different options built in. Now there's two different sides. I don't wanna show you my contacts, but if you slide your screen this way, you can see a list of people that's in your Facebook account and you can assign them to be your favorites. Now this is the main screen that you can use for the portal. First of all, you have contacts that you can add. You have watch where you can watch Facebook videos. And these are videos that are online right now. If you go back, you can then do portal apps. And yes, you can use YouTube. Look up people like Tech Steve right here. And after you're done, just press the home button at the top. Then you have settings. And under settings, you have all these different events, including do not disturb. If you're using Superframe, this is where you can change the duration, how fast it changes pictures. 
You also can toggle all your birthday reminders as well as tips, weather, and favorites. You have different permissions for your privacy, including adding a passcode when not in use. You can add more accounts. There's also a built-in help selection, including your privacy that you can go through and control that as well. You can also change the size of the fonts. So if someone can't see well, they can make the font a lot larger. You have high contrast, color inversion, so make it a lot brighter, as well as triple tap to magnify things. If you slide upwards, you can control the volume as well as the brightness. Do not disturb mode and power if you need to turn it off. I made a lot of videos on the Alexa unit, but let me show you a few commands so you can see how it works. What's the weather like today in New York City? In New York, it's 43 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for cloudy skies moving in and out with a low of 33 degrees. Tell me a joke. Jimmy's still got this. Did you see the Yelp review of Orion's belt? Three stars. Play a birthday song. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. So after using the Facebook portal so far, it looks like it's about the same as owning a Google's home display as well as a Alexa unit. So there is some privacy things out there, but isn't it with anything that uses videos and cameras, just like your cell phone? But overall, I just want to show you guys how to connect one if you purchase one, and I will make another video showing you how to use a camera and the follow feature. So if you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.